Cuba, it's me. Welcome to episode 320 of The Willu Show, which stands for Wrestling is Life, Life is Wrestling. Now today is part 14 of my Ontario Wrestling Promotion Spotlight. I'm going through every active uh, wrestling promotion in Ontario in alphabetical order, the best as I can. Um, and just giving them a, prof a profile, giving them a brief spotlight, letting people know about them and finding out stuff about them that I didn't know. So the next one is Courage Pro Wrestling. Now, yesterday I mentioned them a little bit. I wasn't sure if uh, they were going to be continuing to run in 2018 just because I didn't see any news on uh, their, they have a website, which is www.courageprowrestling.com. And they also have um, Twitter and Facebook. And uh, they even have a YouTube channel. Now, the YouTube channel only has like four videos, but um, it's there. Make sure to subscribe and be on to it because... I was, like I said, I wasn't sure if they were doing anything in 2018 after having a big 2017, but I, I sent a few messages out and I was able to find out that they are coming back big time in 2018 with a full schedule and it's going to be even bigger than their breakout year of 2017. So that's right, they just started last year, they're a new company, so let's try and support them and help them out. They had a great start to 2017. and. Um, which, like I'm saying, it was their first year. They're based out of Hamilton, Ontario. And in their first year alone, they did six events and uh, did pretty good for, some, for themselves. Their first event was in April, uh, I believe April 15th of 2017. And um, their website, it has like an about section and a roster section and a contact session. It's very well done. And I would like to see tons of new content added to that. I'm sure they will once they, you know, get geared up for their first show of this year. And, um, their Facebook is really active. I didn't check out the Twitter yet. And um, I was able to find out they have a general manager, Wally Warwick. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I, I, I apologize if I'm not. Um, I didn't see anything on like who owns the company or any of that kind of stuff. But um, I'm sure some one of my loyal viewers will uh, help me out and fill in some blanks there. So I was going through... And on Cage Match, they have the results from every single show they did, except for their last show. The last show that they uh, held was December 10th, 2017, uh, in Hamilton. But uh, And I was going to give the results for that, but I didn't see them anywhere. I didn't see them on the Facebook. I didn't see them on Cage Match. So just to give you a little taste of what you can expect from Courage Pro and some of the great matches, actions, and stars that are part of them, I'm going to go back to their second to last show, which was October 22nd, 2017. Uh, called Defiance. Now, at the start of this show, um, there was a six-way match, and Jody Threat was able to pick up the victory. Uh, what a great way to start the night. And then British brawler Ad Hutchison uh, defeated Hipstar um, Zach, and then after the match, Gabriel Soul attacked the, br the brawler. Uh, then we had a tag team match. We had Tyler Hill and Aiden Rain, who defeated Mark Shaw and Shawnee Mo uh, due to some kind of, I believe it was some kind of interference. Uh, I can't remember. I apologize. I should have wrote some stuff down. Uh, then we had um, the street defeated Street Brown in a two-on-one handicap match. Actually, I apologize. This is the match where there was some interference. Uh, Hacker, Scotty O'Shea, and Steve Brown. Something's happening between them, and Hacker's music hit. It distracted Steve Brown, and the street was able to pick up the victory. Then there was a no disqualification match between uh, two really up and coming superstars, Brett Michael David, BMD, and Dylan Daniels. And Brett Michael David was able to pick up the victory. Then we had um, uh, Cody Deaner over Taylor K. Dean. Now, there was a stipulation in this match that if Taylor K. Dean lost, he would, be, uh, he would have to leave Courage Pro Wrestling. And he did indeed lose to Cody Deaner. So that has taken Taylor K. Dean out of the picture. I wonder if that means he's gone forever or if something will happen. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out. And then we had um, a four-way match with Louis Linden. Linden, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, was able to pick up the, wick, uh, the victory. And then we had a, a six-person match. It was the Hardcore Housewives of Wrestling and um, Tyler Turba. Now, they were able to beat uh, Liam Worldwide, Shane Saber, and Joshua James. And then in the main event... Uh, Tariq was able to defeat hacker Scotty O'Shea. So as you can see, um, they give you a lot of action for their money. A lot of matches, a lot of great matches, matchups and whatnot. So I want everybody, in, when 2018, when they start doing their first show, get on the bandwagon. Go out there and support them. Buy a ticket to the show. Share their events on Facebook. Their 
giving lots of work to some really great uh, upcoming superstars and some very established superstars as well. But also, I wasn't able to find out too much about them. And um, so if you know anything about it, please feel free to uh, comment and, uh, and let me know. I love finding out new things. So um, have you ever been to one of the Courage Pro shows? What did you think? Um, what, what, what are the matches that you liked? And, um, or if you're a performer, have you ever performed on the show? And what did you like? And always on the Willow Show, make sure you like or you get a leg drop. Comment or you get a clothesline. Subscribe or you get a suplex. I'm your host, Elian Habanero. I love wrestling. Cuba.